what is a smart home? In this video, I'll define to you exactly what a smart home is in 2024. Chris Orm's the name, smart home is the game. For those new to the channel, I work in the custom integration field and basically I help people design and implement and use their smart homes all day long as my nine to five job. I'm truly passionate about the smart home industry, so I have a lot to tell you. So let's go ahead and get started. The smart home essentially allows us to control our technology far beyond just the physical aspects. So my favorite example to use is a light switch. No longer are we just toggling it on and off at the switch. Now we have voice control. We also have mobile access. So we have the physical, the voice, and the mobile access. And that's what I think first defines what a smart home is. Different areas of control. And when we talk about control, you're gonna to need to have a brains to the smart home, a control system. And there's two different avenues that we can go down. There's the DIY, that's the Amazon, the Apple, the Google, you know, very cheap barrier to entry and good quality products that can help you control your smart home from anywhere in the world. And then we have the custom integration field, which is professionally installed products. So these are the control for it, the Savant, the Crestrons of the world, and they have a much higher barrier to entry and they need to be installed by a professional. Once we've defined kind of what our control system is gonna be, we can start getting exactly what we need from our smart home. The smart home is exactly what you want out of it, and you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. One of the first features people will talk about is lights in the smart home. You can have either one, a smart bulb, or two, you can have smart switches. Both have different values, and both are very good products. So what I recommend is, for most people, you're going to want to have a smart switch. It's going to be a cheaper option. It's going to be just as effective in terms of controlling it from all three areas of control. And you can, if you have more than one bulb within that load on your smart switch, you just have to replace one switch rather than each individual bulb, which can add up. However, if you're looking for different colors and atmosphere and different control and things like that, smart bulbs definitely might be op a good option for you. Along with lighting, we have different types of lights. So I talked about bulbs, but there's also things like light strips, ambient lighting, shapes, and more things like that that can just really wow your home. They can add different color and feelings and moods, and that's why smart lighting can really be customizable to exactly what you're looking for in your home. After lighting, let's go ahead and talk about surveillance. Surveillance is huge for anyone because we wanna make sure that we're protected within our home. There's wireless cameras, there's wired cameras, but people are all about their security and being able to monitor that from anywhere in the world. If you're burglarized, you're gonna to wanna to have that on video to see if we can get their license plate or things like that. We have indoor and outdoor surveillance, and I definitely recommend you get surveillance at any point if you're looking to begin your smart home because it just adds a ton of protection to your home. Also in security, we can talk about smart door locks. These allow us to open our locks from our phones so we can use things like Apple Home Key as well as just standard applications to be able to lock and unlock our doors. Super cool, super great addition to any smart home. I love my SwitchBot lock. That's a retrofit lock that allows me to have smart home control over my existing lock. Very, very cool. After that, we can talk about audio and video. I can control my living room TV from my phone based on it being an Android TV with smart home capabilities. I can stream things through AirPlay to play different content, whether that's from my phone YouTube or videos that just live on my phone. It's super cool. We can also have distributed video, which means that it lives in one point, AKA your rack, and it can be distributed to any TVs throughout the home. This is a big costly thing that you would have to invest in, but for some people it makes sense. And on that same token, we can talk about audio. Obviously, Sonos is a big one. They're probably the market leader when it comes to distributed audio at the consumer level, but it's very handy to have great Sonos sound, whether that's a sound bar or a Bluetooth speaker in itself that you can cast your music to from anywhere. Music can add a lot of feeling to a home, and when you run that with things like automations, it makes a ton of sense. Finally, we can talk about things that are more accessories. So these things are like motion sensors that allow you to run automations. Contact sensors that can tell you if a door's been opened or closed and the history behind that. Smart garage doors that go open and shut and you can control it based on your phone. Alarm systems so you can protect you and your family. Motorized shades or shade controlling robots like the SwitchBot curtain that can open and close your blinds, open and close your curtains, and really just allow you to not even think about having to do those things. A smart home will benefit your life in so many different ways. 
saving time, saving money, giving you protection, giving you peace of mind, and giving you control to your home. Everyone carries an iPhone or Android in their pocket. So I think more and more people will become on the smart home bandwagon. Everyone has a smart TV in their home so they can watch their streaming services. I think we're in the middle of a smart home revolution because of things like Ring and Nest that really brought it to the mainstream and allowed everyone to be able to have a smart home. Whether you're looking to spend $500 or $500,000, a smart home can be right for you. And believe me, when I say people do spend $500,000 on their smart home, they really do. If you work in the custom integration industry, you know that people have a lot of money and that they can spend a lot of money and time on their smart home. My advice to you is find out exactly what you're looking for. Start with things like smart bulbs or a ring doorbell or a smart thermostat. These things will get you in the right direction and you can continue to build and build and build. The smart home is a journey and we're in the peak of what can be for the smart home. We're just at the very beginning. It will continue to grow and grow and grow and become more advanced. So 2024 is no better time to start your very own smart home. If you have questions about smart home, drop me a line, leave me a comment, send me an email, chris at chrisorm.com. I hope that I can serve you and help point you in the right direction. And In this channel, we talk about mastering your environment, both internal and external. And when it comes to the external, your environment is everything. The home, your car, who you surround yourself with is all very crucial to you living your best life. And that's what I promote here on the channel. If you enjoyed it, definitely subscribe and you won't want to miss future content where I talk about exactly what you need for your smart home. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope to see you in the next one. We'll see you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.